What's going on guys? Spider here. This is actually, well for you guys is day seven. Still day six for me doing this at, uh, at night. And I uh, just wanted to give you a little rundown of uh, what I'm doing for nutrition, stuff like that. Um, there actually isn't a, well there is a workout you can actually do, stretch X or whatever. There's a stretching workout that you can do on day seven or it can be rest. I'm going to be spending the day with the family so I won't be doing stretch X, but uh, I did want to give you a little bit of an idea uh, as to how I've adjusted my diet um, for this P90X. Now, I'm not actually following the diet plan they have laid out in the program. Um, you know, for me, it's uh, I've always been able to keep weight off if I had the willpower to do so. <laughs> but uh, a lot of a lot of times, I don't have the willpower. You know, I, I just I, I eat, uh, the portions that I eat are far larger than I should, um, or I should be eating. So what I've done, uh, there are a lot of things that also outside of just the regular meals and, and eating too much at, at uh, the regular meals that I've been having, um, there's also been other, you know, just a lot of stuff that has a lot of sugar in it that I've sort of cut out. So um, I'll start the, the, the beginning morning and then go through night and, and tell you what I've adjusted. But um, I know a lot of people have issues with weight and with, with food and stuff like that. But again, for me, it's really about willpower and it's about my willpower to, to cut down those portions and eat something that's, um, you know, more applicable to how I should be eating. I mean, it's just less, maybe a bit more often, but still less overall. So in the morning, um, you know, I've been I've been rocking the uh, extra large double doubles at uh, Tim Hortons uh, for a long time now, so I've cut that back dramatically. I've gone to if I go to Tim Hortons, it's a medium regular now. Uh, so uh, extra large double double is um, basically like two two cream two sugar uh, regulars one one cream one sugar in my coffee, and it's obviously a lot smaller. Um, for breakfast, I will have, I uh, usually have like Weetabix. I have the one one thing of Weetabix with some fruit, which will usually be uh, raspberries and or blueberries. So I have that in the morning. Um, for around lunchtime, usually I work out uh, towards 11 a.m., 11 to 12, 30, 11 to 12, 11 to 12, 30, around that time. So I'll have water. I try to have possibly a Powerade, but that has a lot of sugar in it too. Someone might be home. The uh, wife, spider wife and kids are actually gone out right now, but they should be home soon. Um, and then after that is, is lunch. And uh, again, I actually, there's a subway really close, so I actually frequent subway quite a bit. I'll, um, sometimes I'll get um, like a foot long cold cut combo um, and I'll put on it. I know there's cheese on it. I know there are some, some stuff. There is some stuff that is still you know fattening let's say I mean it's not low fat cheese or anything like that but 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 the thing is I mean the way I see it is is you want to moderate stuff you want to eat in moderation as long as I'm not eating a brick of cheese I think I'm okay so whereas in the past you know I'd eat the entire foot long well now I just eat the six six inches of it and then save the other half for the next day so it's a cold cut combo I'll put shredded cheese on um, Italian herb and cheese <laughs> bread <laughs> um, and then that's toasted and then I'll usually put lettuce and tomato on it extra green olives and extra hot sauce and that's what I'll have half of that for lunch and half of that for lunch the next day um, dinners just regular dinner I, I, I've just cut back cut back on on the portion size I mean we usually have pretty decent meals whether it be chicken and rice and vegetables and, and stuff like that um, and if we go out for dinner, we went out last night to Wendy's. I mean, I had a salad. I had a, um, a chicken, spicy chicken Caesar salad at, uh, Wendy's, but I didn't get the, uh, the Caesar dressing. I got the light ranch. So I got a light ranch dressing for that. Um, what else? Uh, some lunches I'll have, you know, I'll, I'll fry up some, um, some black forest ham, like lunch meat. I'll just fry that up. I'll have one egg and a couple pieces of toast. And that'll be uh, like a lunch as well, or or breakfast even. Um, most of that, I mean, I used to drink like two cokes a day, so I've completely cut that out. Really scaled back on the sugar intake, so I think that's going to help a lot. 
And, and again, it's just about eating a lot less. The portions are a lot less and eating a little bit more frequently. And I think that's really what you want to be doing. Again, I don't feel the need to um, follow the diet, uh, you know, word for word. Number one, I don't, I don't need to be ripped. I don't need to be 5% body fat and freaking abs, you know, a six pack abs and, and everything like that. I, I want to, you know, I want, it'd be nice to have that. It'd be nice to have that. But at the same time, you know, I want to get into shape and I want to get pretty cut or as cut as I can, um, but still be able to eat things that I'd like to eat, just not as much of it. And, and I, I don't really eat desserts and, and stuff like that anyway, so that's not really a, a big deal for me. So that's about it, I guess. Um, if you guys have any other questions and want me to cover anything else uh, during the week or next week or whatever, just let me know and uh, I'll cover it off. And we're going to try and push, we're going to push really hard with the X this coming week and, um, you know, see if we can, uh, now that we've, we've got a week, under our belts or under my belt, um, you know, I know what the exercises are. I know approximately what weight I'm going to need so we can start pushing it um, into week two and see how that goes. But uh, I feel pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty sore. My legs are sore. My butt's sore. But uh, my the rest of me isn't too bad. And I think uh, by the time Monday rolls around, I should be good to go on the shoulders and, uh, and back again. So thanks a lot for all the support, guys. Looking forward to week number two. P90X.